Hello Internet, this is Scott with Scott's Garage. Welcome back to my channel to subscribers. Welcome to my channel with first time viewers. Welcome literally to my garage. Now this video is part of a specialized playlist on tips for buying a car, especially designed for first time car buyers. You can see a full list of videos here in this link above. Now if you've watched any of these videos, you know that one of my tips is not to buy a brand new car. And the main reason is depreciation. All cars depreciate over the course of their lifetime, but when you're paying top dollar, you're gonna feel the depreciation more. Let somebody else take that initial hit and wait a year or two, then buy the car used. I also recommend not going through a dealership. I have purchased cars through dealers, both new and used, and have had some very negative experiences. When it comes to used cars, generally speaking, you will pay between 22 and 25% more for the same vehicle going through a dealer than you would if you simply made a private sale. Now my preference is private sales and again you can see several videos on how to go about purchasing a vehicle via private sale. But a private sale is not for everyone. There are risks involved in meeting somebody for the first time and buying a car from them. Also mechanically, if you're not mechanically inclined, how do you know if the car that, that you're looking at is mechanically sound? Um, you, you simply don't. Well, fortunately, there's a third option, and that's what this video is all about, and, and that's going through an online platform for purchasing a car. Now, I did this for the first time, and this 2017 Ford Escape, uh, I purchased through an online platform, and that's what this video is all about. Now, I did my research four months ago, and I was neither for online platforms nor against them, but I thought I would check it out, and there were two main ones that I, that I considered. One was Varum and the other one was Carvana. And as I studied them and looked at reviews, the one I went with is Carvana. And, and, and the main reason is that Varum had hidden fees. I don't like hidden fees. Uh, Carvana, they advertised that the price you see online is the price you pay. And that's exactly the way it was for me. Now here's some other great things, in my opinion, for using Carvana. Now with Carvana, all the cars that are sold on the platform have been certified. There's a 150 point checklist. They have certified mechanics that they go through it. When they're considering cars to sell on Carvana, only one in 10 cars qualify. They are, they are very picky. So you can know that the cars you see, again, have mechanically been gone through and they have been certified by Carvana. Also, Carvana provides a Carfax, so there's a Carfax report for every car that's sold and it just reassures you that it's a sound car and there have been no accidents. Now for me, the main advantage I had in using Carvana and in, in buying this vehicle was the time that I saved. Simply being able to narrow it down online saved me hours and hours and hours and also headache. I didn't have to be driving all over the Dallas area you know, looking at a used car, somebody else buying it first, they didn't have to go through that hassle at all. And I saved so much time. For that reason alone, it was well worth it. I also appreciated having up to seven days to test drive. So one of the disadvantages of going through an online platform is that you can't physically you know, kick the tires. Uh, but uh, when they deliver the car, you have up to a seven day test drive period. Now you can't go crazy and drive thousands of miles, but I think the limit's like 400 miles. But it was plenty of time to get to know the vehicle uh, to make sure that I had made a good decision. And according to Carvana, you can back out of it up to that seven days and there's no penalty. And I really appreciated that. Now what we're gonna do ne next, I'm gonna take you back four months ago uh, in real time, the process that I went through in, in purchasing this vehicle. And at the very end, I will explain to you the Carvana referral program. It's completely changed. I mean, it changed this week, and I got the latest on what the referral program is, and it would be to your advantage if you're considering Carvana uh, to look at that referral part of this video. Okay, I created a Carvana login password. Um, it is now 2.14. Just gonna log in. We'll see how long it takes me to find a car. Okay, I'm in. We're gonna we're looking for a Ford Escape. We don't want the base model. We'll take an SE or higher. So SE or SEL or titanium. I don't know about the XLS, but.
Okay, it's pulling them up. My wife wants either red or blue. We want it to be 25,000 miles or less. I'm just going to scroll down. I could do another uh, refined search here, but there's an S, blue S, a blue SC. Free shipping, that means it's here in Dallas, but it's 35,000 miles, 54,000 miles. Okay, this one looks really good. 2017 SE, 20,729, free shipping, and 17.1 with $1,000 off would be 16.1. So we'll just look at this one. So it's about 216, 217. It took maybe three minutes. Okay, so you get the 360 degree view. EcoBoost 1.5 turbo, 179 horsepower, specs on the engine. I do like this, I can see 360 degree. This is the actual vehicle. Okay, interior, go back. So the color, two keys, keyless entry, power driver seat, cruise control. Basic stuff for today. <clears throat> Bluetooth, six speed, USB input, expect that, satellite radio, rear camera. Okay, so here, imperfections. So front etching, if I click on that, gives me a close up. So it's level one, which is simply standard wear for a normal, normal vehicle. Likewise, driver's side medium scratch is level one still towards the back. You can see a little chip on the door here. These are all things that don't matter to me one bit. Engine bay, nice and clean, which is what I would expect. Get a rear view camera. All right, there it is. So I really do like this one. I'm not sure this is one we'll get, um, but if I order today, it'll be delivered by Monday. And deliver options, so they would deliver here to where we live, um, or we could pick it up in Frisco. I think it's the, um, you know, the Carvana, the, whatever they're called, uh, dispense the cars. I think that's the option here if we wanted to do that. So anyway, it's about uh, 220. So again, maybe 12 minutes. Um, I do like the convenience of this. I haven't done the financing stuff yet, but uh, so far so good. So when my wife gets home, I'll walk her through this. I think we'll probably be picking out a car. Take advantage of the Black Friday $1,000 off. Okay, my wife came home and the vehicle I was looking at was no longer available. We found another one though that had fewer miles, uh, the color that, that we wanted, and we went ahead and made the purchase. It was uh, quite easy. I got on the phone and got the finances to us right now. Likewise, it didn't take long at all. That's our cat, my cat jumping on my back there. But the overall, a very, very easy process. Hello. Perfect. Care if I video you or not? <laughs> of course. All right. How we doing? Oh, really good. Scott. It's me. Uh, so if I.
Okay, the employee from Carvana dropped the car off. His name, his name was Mark. A really positive experience uh, with him. Uh, he had me, you know, sign the delivery and things for registration. Uh, told me that the plates should be coming within six weeks or so. He gave me a date if they're not here uh, to call and went through some insurance things. He also found a, a little um, divot in the windshield and assured me that... Um, uh, they will uh, take care of that if I take it to one of the recommended providers uh, for that. Um, he also gave me some swag, sort of Carvana cookie cutter, a Carvana insulated cup with straw uh, containing also a little, a little Ford truck in there and some uh, sunglasses. Since we're close to Christmas, it also came with... Um, this little gift tag. So happy holidays. I'll put that on there for my wife when, when she sees it. So far, so good. I look forward to the seven day test drive period. And I can only wait for my wife to get home and see it for the first time. Just like the, the commercials. <laughs> What's that? Oh, that's because I unlocked it. Yeah, it came with the tag on the dashboard. I put it on for you. Sunglasses? Yep. He also gave us a gift certificate for 50 bucks at a restaurant. Okay, it's been four months since we made the initial purchase, since I showed my wife the escape for the first time, and since we did the test drive for, for a week. Um, we have absolutely no problem with the test drive. It went well. We gladly purchased the vehicle. I have no regrets whatsoever. I highly recommend Carvana to purchase a vehicle, and I don't say that lightly. I would say otherwise if I didn't like um, the online platform. I really think uh, their motto is a new way to buy a car, and I really think that's true. Uh, they have solved a lot of problems, and... Anyway, uh, take it for, for what it's worth. I want to end the video by talking about the Carvana referral program. Up until this week, the referral program was this, that, that if you could find somebody that had purchased a car in Carvana and get a referral link from them, if you purchased a car, you'd get $500 off the purchase, which is a very generous thing. And then the person who gave the referral, they would, they would send, I think it was $100 uh, back to that person. They've completely changed that program. It's now a gift thing. So if you can find a friend that has purchased a car in Carvana and get a referral link from them, it's worth your while. You don't get $500 off, but you can take your choice of uh, several gifts. I'll show you here just in a second. But my guesstimate is they're worth between two and $300. You choose, they'll send you that gift. And, and then likewise, for the person who made the referral, uh, there is, there's, there's gifts for them um, as well. Now, if you don't have a friend who has a referral link to give you, you can use mine. I'll put it in the description below, um, and it would be considered like an affiliate link. But uh, only if you don't have someone that, that's done it, uh, please feel free to, to use mine. Now, let me show you what these, what these uh, gifts are. Okay, so here is my referral page. And scroll down here, and they encourage you again to send this using social media and that. But, but here are the gift options. Um, so you can see I've made no referrals or anything like that. Uh, zero friends have found a car. Just again, this is absolutely brand new. But let me show you a closer look at the gifts. Um, so this is a Yeti cooler. And again, I priced them. They're between two and $300. Uh, this is a, 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 an iPod. And the iPods, likewise, they're between two and $300. And I don't know exactly what this is. Just a thermos mug of some sort, um, luggage, I don't know what brand. Uh, this looks like a Dyson vacuum, and I don't know what the price is. And, and this, I'm assuming, is like a power pack of some sort. Again, you, you probably know what it is, I don't, but uh, these are the, the gifts available. So if you get a referral link, you can choose one of these gifts, they'll, they'll send it to you. And uh, feel free to use my referral link again, it's in the description below. But anyway, this is Scott with Scott's Garage. If you got any value at all from this video, please hit like. It costs you nothing, but it's of great value to me. 
you're not subscribed to Scott's Garage, uh, please do so. I would love to see you in an upcoming video. And as always, have a great day.